More than a dozen Democratic presidential candidates are in San Francisco this week for the Democratic National Committee's summer meeting. Today, DNC officials rejected a proposal to hold a primary debate specifically focused on climate change. Here's the moment it happened and what came after. The vote was 8 for, 17 against. All of the Democratic primary debates so far have included questions on climate change. But some activist groups, including the Sunrise Movement, say the issue deserves more attention. Sophie Karasik is a spokesperson for the Sunrise Movement, and she joins me now from San Francisco. Sophie, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So we saw many Sunrise Movement members at the vote. Were you surprised how it went today? I mean, honestly, just a week ago, Tom Perez introduced a resolution that was designed to kill a climate debate from ha to prevent a climate debate from happening. And actually, what happened today is that the DNC passed a resolution out of committee that would allow candidates to be on the same stage at the same time discussing the climate crisis. And so we actually had a partial victory that came from uh, the vote this morning. So, uh, but would you have liked to see other issue specific debates? I, I mean, I certainly think that that would actually be great for the country if we had issue specific debates where we could actually get into some of the substance and nuance in a way that that is challenging currently. But I think that what was really surprising today was that there were so many people who really came out and actually made this be at the forefront of of this summer meeting and really actually are going to bring this this entire discussion to a floor fight on Saturday. So even though there was a, even though the the climate debate resolution five failed, it's still going to be brought to the floor for a fight on Saturday. Um, more broadly, why do you think it is that forums on specific issues are not enough and that, you know, debates are really the place for these kinds of topics to be hashed out? Yeah, so debates reach millions more people. So forums, you're actually not able to have the candidates up on the same stage at the same time. And so that's why we've been pushing for a climate debate is that we actually need the, the American people deserves the opportunity, needs the opportunity to hear where the candidates stand on these issues. And that actually having an official debate will allow the American people to be able to do that and also force the candidates to really prove to the country that they're serious about treating this crisis like the emergency that it is. So this vote came just one day after Washington Governor Jay Inslee dropped out of the presidential race. He, as you know, focused his campaign on climate change. Does that feel like a loss to your cause? I mean, Jay Inslee really did a huge, amazing thing by really centering climate in this election and really pushed so many of the candidates to also be better on this issue. And, you know, just today, Bernie came out with this really big and bold and ambitious plan. And we actually need our candidates to be putting out climate plans that are that ambitious. And that's exactly what Jay Inslee was able to help push people to do in this in this election. I want to ask you more about that in a moment. But how does your group plan on keeping up momentum around the issue of climate change without someone like Governor Inslee in the race? Yeah, so, I mean, today we really saw the power of young people and grassroots organizing, and we're going to continue to build that momentum throughout this race. I mean, we had hundreds of people that were packing this room today. This weekend, we're going to have hundreds of people coming from all over the western part of the country for training on learning action planning and recruitment. And we're really going to be keeping up the momentum going into this election, and that's something that our movement is going to continue to do. So you mentioned this. Senator Bernie Sanders released his climate plan today. It builds on the Green New Deal. Do you think that should be a litmus test for presidential or congressional candidates in the next election? Or are you open to other proposals? I mean, absolutely, we want ambitious plans to be setting the bar for what candidates need to be candidates need to be putting out. And this is really about making sure that we're galvanizing young people, galvanizing people who have never felt in the recent years that the political or media establishment have been taking this crisis seriously, and having candidates put out 
really ambitious plans like this shows that things are starting to shift and we're changing pol the political weather in America. All right, Sophie Karasik, thank you so much, Sophie, for your time. Thank you.